How's it going everyone? My name is Darius and I'm Carmen and we're the founders of Wealth Nation. This is the seventh video that we've done on covering the Becoming Your Own Banker by Mr. R. Nelson Nash. And today what we're going to cover is creating a bank just like the one you already know. Mm -hmm. So what this section talks about is the fact that a traditional bank costs about $20 million to start. And even when you have that money, you have to get on a waiting list to get that charter. So Mr. Nash is just giving you an example of, okay, in theory, we're going to create a bank, but we're not going to actually go out and create a bank on the corner like uh, Bank of America or Wells Fargo. Yeah, you don't need $20 million <laughs> for this instance <laughs> yet. <laughs> so the, the whole idea about becoming your own banker, and, and we get this question a lot is how do I create my own bank mm -hmm. and and we are more so not talking about actually creating a brick-and-mortar bank we're talking about replacing the banking functions in your life mm -hmm. so what are the banking functions first and foremost we'll just take a minute and think about it when you go to the bank what do you do <laughs> you're either depositing money you're withdrawing money you're getting loans or you're using credit cards mm -hmm. what else do you do at the bank Get, That's it. get signatures for notary and stuff. But yeah, besides that, anyways, the, the whole idea is just taking those functions that I just named and putting them in another avenue, being mm -hmm. able to do that with another avenue. And we're doing this through whole life insurance. Right. There, there is one example that I, I really like that he, he talked about in this section. It was mm -hmm. called cogeneration. Mm -hmm. And he talked about um, sawmills and paper mills, for example, the, uh, what they have left over is like the, the bark from the tree and yeah. then the, the, the sawdust. Mm -hmm. And what they use that for is electricity. Yeah. Now, they don't go and create a, a an electrical distribution plant where they have yeah, power um, plant. <laughs> yeah, where they have people, a sales team, and they uh, go and they recruit people to, to buy their, their stuff. Mm -hmm. What they did is they actually use it for their own personal use. Yeah. And just like... Uh, how we do banking equation or the the uh, banking function that we want to re replace in our lives we're doing the exact same thing mm -hmm. by using the surplus capital that we have to mm -hmm. you know invest and lend and mm -hmm. do everything that we would with the traditional bank and create our own banking system yeah. we're, we're creating our own ecosystem so to speak there kind of thing so the the whole point of it is just understanding first and foremost what do you need a bank for and then where can you go outsource those uh, requirements or those tasks. And we found that we can outsource those tasks through a life insurance company. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? We can deposit money into our policies. We can uh, get loans from our policies. You can even do withdrawals. We, we very rarely do that. We only do deposits and loans. But um, just know that you have the ability to do that. And in doing so, you're creating your own bank. There you go. You're becoming self-sufficient. And that's the whole part about it is gaining back control of your finances so that you can get loans from yourself and pay yourself back principal and interest instead of paying the third party financial institutions. Right. So I like it. Yeah. It's a, it's a lot <laughs> easier uh, said than done, would you say? Yeah. Yeah. But it's one of those things that you have to get out and practice it in order to really understand it. You, you have to learn by doing that. I totally agree. Yeah, that's a really good point to, to say because I think sometimes people just get so wrapped up in the concept mm -hmm. and then they don't take the time to actually get involved. And the best way for you to learn how to become your own banker is to actually practice and start doing. And then once you are in it, you realize, oh my gosh, this is so simple. Mm -hmm. Why wasn't I doing this before? But it may take just a little bit of a learning curve for you to get involved just like anything else. Yeah. and. Reading and understanding this book is the steps that we took in order to start our first policy. And this is why we're doing this video mm. series is to uh, encourage you to do the exact same thing. Yeah. Yeah, because honestly, when Darius and I first started, we were just... Uh, practitioners in, in the sense of we were just bankers. We were mm -hmm. doing it ourselves. We, we were clients to our agency mm -hmm. and we were just working the system. And then after a few months in, when we started recapturing and seeing all this interest that we're paying back to ourselves, we just really thought like, oh my gosh, 
why aren't more people doing this and why don't more people know about this? Mm -hmm. So we became licensed agents and determined to teach not only our, our friends and our family how this works, but also the world, hence why we have a YouTube channel now, <laughs> because we just want to teach everyone this concept because it is really empowering and life changing when you understand your finances because it affects everything. Right. Yeah. Well, that's all we got for today, folks. <laughs> so be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io. And make sure if you haven't already, get the Becoming Your Own Banker book by Mr. R. Nelson Nash. Yes, and go out and own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will. <laughs>